what is happening YouTube it is Tuesday May 19th and uh, this is just a quick intro to a video I filmed this video probably about a week or so ago and I just never got a chance to upload it but I've been running into a lot of issues with these trailers with lights that haven't been working and I've ended up fixing them myself so I figured maybe this might be beneficial for somebody and uh, each each trailer is a little bit different each light is a little bit different but the principle is the same so if you run into an issue with a side clearance light on the back lower corner of the trailer this will show you how to replace it so uh, check out this video and then I'll be back at the end so this one here is a band type clamp so you can just use a pocket screwdriver or a pair of snips get up in there twist this you gotta get it unhooked to get it off and then the light pulls out so let me get this off so there's the secret just get it open that comes off and your light will come out you might have to break this ring see these little tabs here you might have to break this to get it out but it will come out so let me get that out Here's what's left of your plastic mounting ring. Like I said, you just break it. It's just plastic. Do what you gotta do to get it off. Now, you're left with a hole, and I pulled the light through. Now this particular light up in this hole, there's a plug up in there, but we're not gonna pull that all out because the new light, it doesn't matter anyway. You have to wire it in regardless. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this, and then we're gonna strip it and wire the new light to it. So let me cut this off. All right, so you can see we got the, the sheath pulled back. So we're gonna cut this and then we're gonna strip the ends of it so we can wire the new one. So you're gonna have to strip this and you'll have to lengthen the exposed wire on the new light too. So let me strip this and then strip the light and I'll show you what the deal is. So we got the harness side on the trailer stripped and we got our new light we got the wires I know it won't focus but we got the wires stripped on that too now before you put this together you want to slide your heat shrink over the wire otherwise you're kind of beat you know what I'm saying so let me show you what I mean okay you see how I got my heat shrink slid over my wire already that's key you don't want to end up twisting everything together and then you can't get your shrink wrap on and you also, you want to put your light through the hole, and this is very important, your new grommet, here, I'll show you. You want to take this grommet, your new rubber grommet that they're going to give you, put that in the hole first, and then spray the inside of it with some WD-40 to help your light slide in when you're done. But you want this in first, because sometimes it's you can't get the whole thing in with the, with the light in it. So slide this off your new light, Put it in the hole, and then when you're done, you'll pop your light in. I'll show you that in a second. And there you go. Here's your shrink wrap. We haven't we haven't heated it yet. Now, when you twist these together, there is a way to do it, but I couldn't show it because I only got uh, just I needed two hands to do it. But when you wire it in, it's very simple. You can't mess it up. White to white, black to black. Now before you go any further, turn your light on, make sure it works, to make sure you've got a good fix here. So let's go turn the light on. All right, light is on, we're good. You go turn the light out and button it up. Shrink wrapping was always the fun part. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Just use a lighter. I have a butane torch, but I'm out of butane. So you just use the lighter Get it up on there. You just want to go back and forth. Of course, I got wind here. All right, hold on. All right, that's what your shrink wrap should look like. You see a little goo coming out of the end of it. That's how you know it's sealed. It'll keep the water and everything out, and you'll have a nice connection. Uh, you should solder this too. I normally do, but I didn't have any solder. So I just shrink wrapped it after I twisted it together. So now all we gotta do is tape it up and then pop the light into the 
rubber grommet. I'll show you a trick to that. So let me tape this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so then just take some tape, tape up your shrink wrap, seal that up, and then you just tape it together, make it look nice and neat, and then we'll pop the bulb in. So let me finish taping this. Right, you wanna try to make your tape job look somewhat neat. That's a little sloppy looking, but it's getting late and I just wanna get this done. So now, let me show you the secret to getting this light back in, because they're pretty tight. So let me show you that. All right, to get this to go in, you're gonna have to use a little uh, persuasion. So if it won't go in, which they usually don't, spray a little WD-40 in here, and then tap on the outside of this with a rubber end of a, a rubber hammer or some pliers or something. So let me spray this up. All right, keep spraying it, keep tapping it, and voila, it'll go in. Only one thing left to do. And let there be light. Now the only thing you gotta do when you're done, just come under here, get a zip tie or something, and tie this up, you know, kinda keep it back and keep it clean. Keep the, try to keep the elements off of it, so. All right, let me go wire this up and we'll wrap up this video. All right, so uh, hopefully that video was useful and helpful to some people out there. It's a very simple repair. And after watching that, you know, hopefully you'll feel a little bit more confident in tackling something like that. Like I said, it, it's pretty cut and dry. There's just a few things I want to mention now that I should have put in the video, but I didn't. I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I was in a hurry. I just wanted to make the video, so I just want to put it in here now. Some of the things you're going to need, tools to do it, this is all stuff I keep in the truck anyway, but you're going to need a pair of side cutters to cut the wires. Uh, you'll need a screwdriver, something to, to pry with, uh, or a pick would work. Uh, you're going to need some WD-40 to loop things up, electrical tape, heat shrink, wire strippers, solder, and you're going to need like a lighter or a butane torch or something to to use when you solder uh, zip ties you know to tie everything up when you're done so it's, it's basic stuff now in that video i like i mentioned i did not solder that connection that's because i used the last bit of solder i had on the last trailer that i fixed so i just didn't get a chance to get any because that's how close together the repairs were but when you when you do any kind of wiring repair you should always always solder it and heat shrink it do not use butt connectors you know those things are the freaking devil man i've seen too many times people wire their own stuff in their cars and you put that stuff in with butt connectors and now you got problems because after so long that it's a bad connection and it just causes all kind of stuff so do yourself a favor if you're going to do something heat shrink uh, solder it and heat shrink it that's the best way to do it that's the proper way to do it uh, and then also when you do an electrical repair like that don't leave the, the marker lights on make sure the lights are off and if you want to be extra safe unplug your electrical connection from your box going into the trailer just unplug it that way you don't have to worry about anything back feeding and popping any fuses or anything like that that's the best way uh, to do it so you don't want to cause yourself any more headaches. You know, you already got one headache trying to wire in a light. So, uh, other than that, man, that's about it. So, I appreciate everybody watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. And uh, in another couple weeks, I should be back with another video. I'll be hitting five years least on here at Schneider. And uh, we'll be talking about that stuff. So, uh, all right, that's it for now. As you can tell, I feel like crap. So, I'm going to get out of here. But thanks for watching this video. Any questions, comments, you can leave them down below. You can email me if you want. Help with trucking at hotmail.com. All that stuff is always in the description. So uh, until next time, everybody, be good, be smart, be safe, and I'll see you down the road later on.